Antifa vandalizes Texas Nomads SAR. Antifa's crossed the line. They've come to one of our homes. You know, this is foul play. You know, this is outside the rally. This is personal. You know, you don't do this. You don't come to somebody's home where they sleep and they got their pets. You see these beautiful dogs in there. Um, you just don't do this. Not in Texas. You can pull this crap in other places, but you don't pull it in Texas, period. You know. So I'm going to be real careful me to, with my words. You can understand. And these little Antifa punks don't, don't really get it, man. This is the video version of this webpage, which has all the sources, the original live streams, photos, links, and so on. See the link below. You may remember some of our past articles and videos about the ongoing interactions or struggles between Antifa and Texas Nomads SAR, including this report and video titled May Day, Antifa's Red Guard Attacks May 1st, 2019, in which they attacked Texas Nomads SAR Christopher Ritchie and Colin Whites, Colin Whites being badly bloodied, and they bragged about this later on. If you're watching this on BitChute, here's the attack and the bloody injury. And if you're watching this on YouTube, what are you doing? Go over to BitChute. Subscribe to us there. YouTube's purging all channels like ours sooner or later anyway. You alright? I could probably use a Gatorade. You may remember this also on May Day, May 1st, which was part of a boiling over of mass panic on a college campus where Texas Nomads SAR was expected to basically show up. Oh my god, Nazis are gonna kill us all! Ah! <laughs> Bro, she freaking took his hat. Look at that. <gasps> oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Law enforcement intervened and arrested four students. <laughs> It seems Antifa has been lashing out at Texas Nomads SAR members since then. On May 24th, Incendiary News Service, it's an Antifa outlet, put out Austin. Anti-fascists target Texas Nomads car and residents on East Riverside, in which they talk about local Antifa vandalizing the home, front door, and the car of Colin Whites. Notice that in this piece, they do not deny that it was Antifa, as they sometimes do. No, they just report it was, you know, local Antifa. I checked in with Colin Whites, and he does confirm that this was indeed his door and his car. More recently, they apparently vandalized Christopher Ritchie's place. In his live video, starting at 9.31 a.m., June 6th, Christopher Ritchie says that the vandalism must have been perpetrated between 11 p.m. June 5th and 4 a.m. June 6th. A little bit earlier that morning, June 6th, at 7.44 a.m., John Colgan, also a member of Texas Nomads SAR, went live on Facebook with, Antifa came to one of our homes. God, what a mess. Yep, this is what happens if you stand up to masked thugs who want to beat up black and Hispanic women and silence their free speech in America just because they want to come in with clubs and silence you because they don't like your politics. This is where we're at in America right now. This is what will happen if you stand, if you get on the front lines and stand up to Antifa. Okay, this is what they do. This is your reward. So all you patriots out there, you know, uh, we got to start pulling together. All libertarians, all conservatives, all people who still believe in the Constitution, all people who believe in a higher power, we got to squash our stuff, man. We got to come together because you know where this is heading. This is not heading a good place. Your mask and your stick and even your mob numbers do not give you the authority to decide who gets to speak, Antifa, and who does not get to speak. I highly recommend watching the entire video and all the videos that I feature in this video. How many times could I say video? See the link below. Similar to what Antifa did with Tabitha and I in Eugene, Oregon, they apparently put up flyers, doxing flyers, on his front door and along his walking route to work. Weak! <laughs> That's Tabby chiming in. 
Also, I should mention, folks, and Tabby, they, these guys, you know, Christopher Ritchie and John Colgan, they say that this was all done silently. I would imagine they did the same with Colin Weitz, and, you know, they did that, of course, with us. Actually, with us twice in one night, or was it two different nights? Two different nights. Two different nights, they silently tiptoed to the front door, and it's like we were listening, too. So, they were really quiet. You know, we're not just going to sit there staring out the front window the whole night, both nights, but... They came, they silently did their thing, and they walked away. I guess their modus operandi. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's their modus operandi. The Antifa there in the area of Austin, Texas, go under various changing names, as they do all over the country and probably the world. The Red Guards, which is a reference to the communist revolutionary groups of the same name under the Bolsheviks in the USSR and under Mao in China. To learn more about them, the Red Guard Antifa, see the webpage version of this video and click here on the webpage and or here on the video version of my report, May Day, Antifa's Red Guard Attacks, May 1st, 2019. And that will link to other sources and you can learn a lot. I urge you to share these reports and videos by these guys and by us and get the word out. Make sure that you are still subscribed and make sure that you are notified too because YouTube has been unsubscribing people you folks have been telling me and denotifying you or just not telling you even though you are subscribed and notified. But more importantly subscribe to us on BitChute. Make sure you click that little bell icon because YouTube will purge all channels like ours sooner or later anyway. My colleague and ally Lauren Camelli Morris over at Lincoln Press Media interview Christopher Ritchie about this stuff. See the webpage for the video interview called Austin Communists Vandalize Patriots Home by Lincoln Press Media and this is part one. Part two hasn't come out yet. And I also recommend that you check out Lincoln Press Media in general. See the link. They feature some of my reporting as well as great stuff from my colleagues over there. Again, I highly recommend it. Finally, folks, I want to tell you about this event in response to this vandalism. June 30th, Stand Against Domestic Terrorists, hosted by Christopher Ritchie. That's June 30th, 2019 at 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Central Time. And that's at the Austin State Capitol in Austin, Texas. Check out the inside of the dome. It's amazing. I've been there a number of times and it's uh, it's just beautiful. And by the way, because Texas is the way it is, they made sure that their capital is actually taller than the one over in Washington, D.C. for the United States of America. <laughs> It just goes to show you that Texas is to America what America is to the world. <laughs> Gotta love that Lone Star State spirit, folks. It's the spirit of America squared. Folks, if you're interested and you want to go, go to the webpage version of this video. Scroll near the bottom, you'll see a link to it. Click on interested and or going. So there you go, folks. What do you think? Comment, like, and share. Thank you very much for watching. Wisdom, truth, justice, honesty, strength, goodwill, good humor, love, and liberty. See you next time. Maybe on YouTube, maybe not.